What's up everybody, Jay here. Wanted to come back to you with more tips for World of Final Fantasy, and this time I wanted to help you get another Rare Mirage and get another 45k XP boost, because nothing says awesome like being able to level up your Mirages super fast. So this time, we're going to the end of Chapter 7 and we're looking at the Undead Princess. Now this one works the same way as the Princess Goblin did earlier in the game. You have to do a couple intervention quests first. So I'm going to help you get through those and then we'll move on to the actual Undead Princess. So first things first, you have to be at the end of Chapter 7, beginning of Chapter 8, because that's when these unlock. So from there, go back to the girl's tea room back in Ninewoods Hills and go up to her just like you did earlier and go to your intervene quests. Here, you should see two brand new quests, the Ice Bridge and Never Cross the Boss. Both were two of your Armagens, same way as the other ones were. And as with the quests earlier in the game, don't worry about dying on these. If you die, you can do them over again. Once you spend the two Arma Gems, you're good. So for these two quests and the follow-ups that you're going to do, I would suggest bringing a party that is strong in Holy and in Fire. For the Holy side, I'm bringing my Holy Dragon. And if you need to see how to capture him, I'll leave a link right here for you to find out how to capture him. And for fire, I'm doing an Ifrit and Frit combo. And if you need to know how to catch Ifrit, I will leave the link right here for that also. So when you accept the first quest, you're gonna get a cutscene with Refia and Charlotta, and that is going to lead to a boss battle against Shiva. Shiva, as you would have expected, is ice, which means that she is going to hit you with lots of ice damage. She's gonna hit you with blizzard. She's gonna hit you with diamond dust. Bust out the fire. If you went with my combo of Ifrit and Frit, you should have Firega. If not, use Blaze or any other fire spells you have. You should be able to whittle her down really quick. I think the fight for me lasted about five turns. I could be wrong, but it shouldn't take much more than that. Maybe a couple heals, but she goes down pretty quick. Following the cutscene, you go back to the girls' tea room and you will go and accept the second quest. After another cutscene with Refia and Charlotta, you're going to go into a battle with the undead princess. Now, this version of the Undead Princess is actually really, really weak, which is really surprising. She's weak to fire, she's weak to holy, she doesn't hit that hard for what you would expect one of these battles to be. So, just throw out a few holies at her real quick, maybe a banish or two, some fire guns, and you're going to finish this battle most likely in about five or six turns, depending on your level. Then, once again, after a nice cutscene where I'm going to say Undead Princess is one of the funniest characters in this game so far, you're going to be granted a third intervene quest. You're going to go ahead and keep the same party build you've had so far up to this point, and this time for a grudge that won't budge, you're going to be facing off against three enemies after a cutscene involving Refia, Charlotta, and once again the Undead Princess. After a few AoE spells like Holy Ray or Blaze, the three Metal Skulls will go down pretty easy. This is actually one of the easiest intervene quests you'll see in the game. So after that quest is done and you have another cutscene, You'll go back to the girls' tea room, make sure you pick up the rewards for all three of those quests, and go save. From here, you want to make sure you have at least a few Phoenix Downs just in case, and you want to set up your party so any that you really need to level up, maybe they're level 1s, maybe you're really close to getting their new forms, go ahead and throw them in your backup party and leave your main party as your holy and your fire. Because you're going to be getting round 2 with the Undead Princess, and unlike last time, this time she is a beast. So when you're prepped and ready to go, head back to Silver Park, and then travel to the Ice Region. This will take you to the gate just outside of Charlotte's Inn. You head just a little south and you'll see the Undead Princess standing right in front of the inn. After a quick little bit of dialogue where she takes a little shot at the dev team. But I don't feel like wearing out my face muscles, and the animators didn't feel like going the extra mile, so why don't we just leave it at next time, okay? Okay, back to work, bye! You'll be able to initiate the battle with her. Now, like I said before, she hits like a truck. She can one-shot you or pretty close to it, even when you're in your stacked form. So I would suggest for this battle, once it starts, go into unstack if you can. If you can't because you need the AP to cast one of your holy spells, then stay in, in stacked form until you can break down. Now to initiate her Priztunity, you need to hit her with a holy spell. Whether it's holy or banish, holy ray, whatever you got, you need to hit her at least once. It's going to do very little damage, but it will automatically activate the Pristunity. From there, it is a game of chance. You can either capture her in one turn or you can capture her in 30 turns. I did this three different times just trying to test it out. The first time it took me seven times trying to catch her. The second time took me one time trying to catch her. 
and the third time took me 22 times trying to capture her, which meant a lot of Phoenix Downs. So if you don't get her in the first few tries, I would suggest actually resetting and then coming back and trying again so you're not wasting all of your Phoenix Downs and all your guild to try to buy back up all of those that you used. So there you go. You now have the Undead Princess, a rare Dark Mirage to add to your party. She comes with Siphon, Dark, Possession Rush, and she's got a lot of stat boosters. She comes with Revivify, which is a renew for your party. Great, great Mirage to add to your collection. And on top of that, another 45k to boost up anybody you've been trying to level. If you've been following some of my tips, you probably recently just got the Magic Jar, you just got Shiva, Ifrit, Fenrir, all these other guys, you want to get them leveled up, you don't want to go to the farm spot, well there you go. The four quick battles, and you got a ton of XP. So there you have it, another rare, more XP. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to be coming out with more tips and tricks for World of Final Fantasy. I'm really loving the game. More of my playthrough is going to be posted. Some Final Fantasy trading card game stuff is going to be coming out real soon. Other games, other things to watch. Who knows what else I'm going to put up here. But comment, like, subscribe if you want to see any of it. I greatly appreciate anything you do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.